I'm the training group, I'm the president of the company, but I'm also the chief instructional designer. So my job is to make sure that we provide you the most interesting courses that specifically fit what your needs are on the job at the highest quality. So we have high quality instructors, high quality instructional design, and we hope a great lab. Now, Levy has already talked to you guys in his, his little brief about the Allen Bradley we have at this station, the Siemens, the Danfoss. Now, we have built simulators based around these small telemechanique machines. And by the time we go through this, you'll be very comfortable picking up the telemechanique book, flipping through, finding out the different parameters, setting them. We have a three-phase motor in here. We have controls on that. We have the uh, potentiometer control, but we also have about four to 20 milliamp uh, control on this as well. Once we finish with this, so everybody's gonna have the telemechanique, then everybody will come to the Siemens. So this is bench number one. And bench number two, identical Siemens. Down here to bench three, we have the Siemens. And then bench number four, we have another Siemens. So everybody will be working on identical machines with the telemechanique, then identical machines with the Siemens. So what we want you to be uh, comfortable with, flipping open the telemechanique book, flipping open the Siemens book. If you go to a Siemens training course, you will learn Siemens. If you ask them about telemechanique, they'll shrug your shoulders. If you go to telemechanique or Alan Bradley and ask them about Siemens, they will shrug their shoulders. We want the most complete VF training VFD training course that exists. So you're gonna be comfortable opening up a telemechanique, you're going to be open, a comfortable opening up a Siemens. Here we have another Allen Bradley, a 1336, different style than the other one, slightly different, but it's basically the same. Over here, we have the PowerFlex 70 Allen Bradley, and over here, a PowerFlex 40 Allen Bradley. So, You've gone through the Siemens, or the, rather you've gone through the Telemechanique, you've gone through the Siemens, everybody's working on the same one. Now everybody goes to different Allen Bradleys. Same family, same company, but some slight differences between them. And you will shift between the different stages. Here we have control boards that we're making, and so you're not doing a bunch of time wiring. We have everything set up, just a banana plug back and forth, do the control that you need to, and operate the three phase motors at every bench. So that takes you through the third level. So Telemechanique, Siemens, Allen Bradley. Then at the fourth level, what we have in this, here's an ABB drive, an ACS 550. Way down there is the Danfoss. Over here we've got a Hitachi. And right over here we have a brand new Eaton. Now, not all of our drives are new, but not all of your drives are new either. So by this time, you've gone through one, two, three different types of uh, system. You start to understand there's a commonality. When we have the AC current coming into the top of these things, you have a series of components that are going to uh, change that AC to DC, it'll reside on the DC bus, and then it gets inverted out as three phase, that is um, pulse wave modulated, and we can end up changing this. We have handfuls of all of the various components on the inside here, so we'll test, teach you how to test those. We're gonna show you the test points inside. Some of the manufacturer's manuals actually show you exactly how to do the tests on a drive. Others do not, but those are the same tests. We are basically talking diodes, transistors, IGBTs. It's not, it's not rocket science. What it is, is we're gonna take you slowly and carefully through each of those and teach you that. Um, it's not a PLC course, but we have some PLC interaction in these. Uh, this is the uh, part of a control board off an Allen Bradley 5,000 volt uh, VFD and you can see all the step-down transistors. So we have parts and pieces from the high-voltage machines as well. 
That's not in every course. That's, that's only if we have an in-house course and the client has those. Uh, now, we also have standard motor control. And the other part of this course is we're going to teach you guys, if you're already familiar with motor control, it's going to be a refreshment. And if you're not, then it won't take long to go through. Again, that's not rocket science. That is basic for every electrician or technician. But what we do is we put faults into the system and you guys will go find, we will be able to show you guys how to find faults in electrical control systems, tick, tack, toe. Now coming down this way, here is the VFD, this is a PowerFlex uh, 400 that Libby showed you, so we'll also have that. You'll be able to see how the menu system works on that. One of the things that Levy did not mention is here is all the air conditioning side. As an instructor, and I started this company in 1980. The company has trained about 25,000 people. And in all small groups like this, I've trained about 5,000. So I'm very comfortable in a classroom. I think you can probably tell I've had a little bit too much hotel food as well. Anyways, if I had an eight person class all trying to take a look in at this, nobody Half the class wouldn't be able to see it. So what Levy did, a very smart man, took and put a piano hinge down there, and we have this so it swings out. We want you guys to be able to learn easily and ably and effectively, and with no wondering, oh, what's around the corner? All right. Coming down this way, here's the motors that Levy had made a mention of. And if you come here for a little bit of a close-up, you can see that we made custom um, contact plates, etc. Mine's going blank. But I don't want you guys, or we didn't want you guys fiddling around with a bunch of wires as you're testing these motors. So each of these stations has got four of the gray electric motors. We've gone inside and we've made different faults inside them. We will teach you guys how to find the faults in a three-phase motor. Down here at the bottom, now there's four stations like this. We have four big motors, anywhere from 60 to 125 horsepower. These ones you guys are gonna have to manipulate the uh, cables, and that's not gonna be difficult to do, but these motors are big enough to teach you how to do a polarization index test. Now, these are gray because we wanted the electrical gray. These are pink because my granddaughter is an artist and I asked her what color do you think they should be and she said pink. So now you know why we've got pink motors. We've got several MCC units in here so I'll also be able to take you through all of those. We have a few other toys. Uh, Tesla coil here, Jacob's ladder over there. Um, yeah, 